Let's look into the atom bomb. Oh, it's blasting. It's, it's really interesting, right? So, we'll talk about the atom bomb. What is this? Atom bomb is based on the principle of uncontrolled fission chain reaction. The natural uranium consists of 99.28% of uranium-238 and 0.72% of uranium-235. It's really lesser. So, uranium-238 is the fissionable only by a fast neutron. It is essential in a bomb that either uranium-235 or plutonium-239 should be used because they are fissionable by neutrons of any energy or all energies. An atom bomb consists of two hemispheres of uranium-235 or plutonium-239. Each is smaller than the critical size and are kept apart by a separator aperture. When the bomb has to be exploded, a third well fitting cylinder of uranium 235, whose mass is always or also less than the critical mass is propelled so that it fuses together with the other two pieces. Now, the total quantity is greater than the critical mass and uncontrolled chain reaction takes place inside resulting in a terrific explosion. The explosion of an atom bomb releases tremendous amount of energy in the form of heat, light and radiations. Temperatures of millions of degrees Celsius and pressure of millions of atmosphere are produced. Such explosion produces shock waves. The release of dangerously radioactive gamma rays, neutrons and radioactive materials produces a health hazard over the surrounding for a very long time. You are able to see the impact. So, I am trying to show you the explosion which happened in Hiroshima and Nagasaki in Japan. These bombs were used in World War II and were exploded over Hiroshima and Nagasaki in Japan. We are quite familiar with the amount of distraction and assaults.